Hello and welcome to another session of our Java tutorial. Today we are going to see how to reverse a string. So let's start by creating our method and we will call our method uh, reverse string. So the name is reverse, reverse and then string. All right. And then we pass a string variable, we call it input, and then we open it up. And then we use uh, a class called string builder here. So we say string builder, and then reverse equals to new. Let's copy this one here, and then I'll explain this later guys, once I finish I will go through everything we are doing right now. So reverse string and then we use a for loop here, we say for uh, int i equals to input which is, let me just copy this one, input dot, dot length dot length minus one minus one and then a semicolon then i as long as i is greater or equal to zero and then another semicolon i minus minus we decrement i by one and then we we say a uh, reversed which is this all right this dot we use this append And then input at i at index i, all right. And then we say here we say return. We used to return keyword return reversed. So we need to return the reversed word and make it and convert it to string to string okay and then now string input equals to let's say let's call it uh this is my reversed string this is my reversed string okay this is my reverse string then semicolon and then you come here, say string, and then reversed equals to reverse string, reverse string, and then our input, okay? So input, which is that sentence right there, and then we say sys out sys out and then do print nine and then let's say the reverse string is first string is and then plus okay plus reversed so put reversed here and then let's run it and see if it works. So this is the reverse of this string and it is working guys. So let me explain this. Uh, so as you can see, first we created uh, the new spring builder called reversed. And then uh, this this will, will be used to store the reversed string as we build it up. And then next we used for loop to iterate through the characters in the input string in reverse order and then the loop starts at last character in the string and goes all the way down to the first character at zero at index zero inside the loop we used reverse dot append to add the current character to the end of the re reversed string character at index i returns the character at i uh, position the input string and append adds the character to the end of the reverse string 
finally we used the reverse string as a new string using return reversed the true string the true string method returns the contents of the string builder as a string so that's it for today guys thank you so much